All right, guys, we're here with Dark Avengers Assemble. I think this is part six. And I didn't get the Green Goblin because I felt like you have a better chance of getting him elsewhere. I mean, it. well, not. I guess you have a better chance of getting him at a different time at a better price. And I don't recommend that you get him. Wait until you, you get the 50% off, right? But do work on your Bullseye character. My Bullseye character is not up there. And as you can see, I am just a returning player. I haven't played in a while. And now I'm returning and I'm playing it again. So uh, I'm a returning player, which means that obviously, clearly, this is not easy. Because I have the Bullseye here. I don't have, you know, his gears is not up. I haven't really gotten his biometrics, if anything. His biometric is not hard to get. I mean, you just go into dimension missions. And what else? I mean, his level, or I mean, his skill levels, nothing is increased. So we have the Dark Avengers Bullseye. And I didn't like Green Goblin as much as some of the other characters there. But, you know, may maybe they'll upgrade it or something later on. I mean, Scorpion, I don't even know what's happening with Scorpion. Scorpion's not supposed to be like that. Anyways, I thought this guy was supposed to be named Trick Shot, and he has the H there <laughs> for Hawkeye. It, it's quite hilarious uh, how the name is. But anyways, Bullseye, 25% increase in all attack, ignores dodge rate, has increase in bonuses. So new, it's a new passive, or a tier two passive, and then you have a new passive. This is the mastery. And it has 70% to penetrate super armor. 30% rate when regular attacks excluded skills are used. First attack, immune to all damage. That's something I like. Stuns the enemy, physical damage. Second attack, that's a new attack too. 100% chance of missing attack. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty much next to immune to all damage, right? Because if your enemy misses the attacks for two seconds, you're pretty much not getting any damage. You got freeze, so it freezes the enemy, deal 30% chill damage. It increased attacks and defense by 35%, so that's quite a bit. You got four. This one, I don't, you notice, well, actually, it's kind of good that way. You see, the four, fourth attack doesn't really have anything. It has burn damage, right? But the cooldown time is 14 seconds. Now you have the fifth skill. This one pretty much doesn't have anything either. It has burn damage, stuns the enemy, minus defense of all, you know, decreases defense. So these two skill is initially supposed to be the like the most powerful one, right? But the cooldown down time is so high that it takes longer. But it's the opposite now. I feel like these attacks are much better. It has immune to all damage, so you got immune to all damage. Eight seconds. Eight seconds for this one and missed attack. So you could do these two attack, uh, or or rather you could do one of these attack and then one of these attack and then combine it and basically just go on, right? I mean, I feel like, and he has awakened skill. So that sends immune to all damage, but that's only for four seconds. What? Why is it only 50%? Is it because my skill's not leveled up? Hold on. So if you have a level 6 skill, it's 100%. So <laughs> I guess I don't have a level 6 skill. Okay, that is the fourth skill. It's pretty freaking cool. So that's the fifth skill. You're pretty much in the air half the time. Okay, that skill is important because it increases my damage. So that's the second skill and then it causes enemy to miss attack, right? And you have the awaken skill.
Wait, is this guy caught? Oh no. No, he had the transcended icon. He's a speed type character. Alright, so anyway, that's pretty much it for the character. Again, you know, the the uniform will go on sale during Christmas. Which means that you should wait until Christmas, in my opinion. Unless you're rich, you know. If you're rich, you have money to do it. Then you can do it. But for me, I'd pro I'm waiting until Christmas. I don't even have him up there. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I have to get Bullseye up there first. And then I have to work on... Some of these uniform here, without the 50% discount, is not even worth it. So, anyways, I'm going to try to... What I'm going to try to do is I'll, I'll work on him, Ares... And Green Goblin. Green Goblin is very, you know. I got his gear up there. All I need is like some, some more, and then I could advance him. Pretty much, I could advance him. And this thing is 50% off, so it's much cheaper. Let's see if anything is expiring. Yeah, I bought this pack, right? It's sitting around there. Maybe I should just get the million. I'm not sure if they increase the price, but what, since when are these things so expensive? Well, actually, maybe it's not that the ex it's expensive. It's the failure rate has gone up, which means the possibility of the gears going up is lower. Look, number of upgrades. 18. What the hell? Did you see that? I had 700,000. I had seven freaking hundred thousand. This one, when I did that one, it, it cost like what? 200,000? And this thing just blew 700,000 and I went broke. So I, I feel like they decreased the possibility of you progressing, right? Which means your cost will increase. Freaking, wow. I didn't think about it until now. Like, what the hell? Alright, so anyways. Uh, Bullseye. And, you know, I think that's the fifth one or sixth one. I don't think I'll be able to get Moonstone. I mean, she's going to be a while. We'll see. And, like I was saying. I'll probably work on the other character compared to Bullseye or Green Goblin. I'm not a big fan of them. Even with their new uniform and everything, I prefer to work on the other characters. If you already have the other characters, you might as well work on them. 